Yo, 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 what is going on guys, Boy Physical Online, today we're going to do another Black Ops 3 video, and today's video is based around the best submachine gun classes in Black Ops 3 as of today. These are my personal opinions on some of the classes, so if you guys want to feel free to use them, try them out, let me know what you think, and obviously it's personal preference at the end of the day, you can switch it up if you'd like to as well, so let's get straight into some of the classes from now. The first class is the Scuda submachine gun, I've got quick draw, rapid fire, fast mags and extended mags, four attachments on this gun. Personally, because this is my rush heavy class, I want to get into enemy spawn, get these triples, get these quad feeds, and basically step up the game and bring up the intensity a bit more with this submachine gun and just get into the spawn as quickly as possible. So my perk loadout as well is Overclock, a very, very underrated perk in this game. Personally, I think this is the best perk in the game so far. Obviously, if you're running a specialist like the Purify, the Scythe, the Tempest, the Annihilator, you're guaranteed to get it around roughly four or five times maybe in a game compared to what you'd get normally if you wasn't running overclock you possibly get it twice in one game so there's a significant difference and obviously going for nuclear streaks running these um, special abilities that give you kills that contribute to my nuclear I'm gonna run overclock because that's a good thing for me to get kills with as well instead of getting it with my gun as well so it helps out both ways in that sense so my perks ain't really going to change for the first two slots. Fast stands is obviously because I'm running a sub. I need to get my aim up as quickly as possible to lock onto my enemies and get those kills. And tap mask is pretty much self-explanatory. I don't want to get concussion and all that sort of shot charge stuff whilst in my way. I don't need unnecessary bullshit in my in my class setup to get my uh, get keep get my kills in the game. So that's pretty much it. My class setup for that. My rush heavy class that is. Next one is the VMP. The VMP and the CUDA are kind of my go-to guns, I'd say. It's depending on how my shot's feeling, I'll switch it up with both of them. But personally, the VMP is my most viable SMG to use. Quick draw, grip, and fast mags. Obviously, running pubs, you kind of want that fast reload as well to get multiple enemies and stuff like that. Usually, obviously, in competitive, a lot of people like to run, obviously, long barrel. We've got a legendary long barrel on this gun as well. So, the VMP is still a good gun with all the nerfs and patches, whatever they've done to this gun in particular. But I still think it is a still... Still a good SMG I'd say and my perks are pretty much the same, only thing I've added, I've taken off an extra attachment and wrapped on uh, the awareness perk in this one so I can sound or a bit, but it's pretty much the same perks, loadout, not too much of a difference but hopefully guys if you want to give that a try let me know what you think, personally I think they're the best attachments on the gun apart from long barrel if you want to run that as well so let's get to the next one, the Weevil, the Weevil's had a recent buff and to be honest I think the Weevil you know was decent before he even got the even buff so if it's got buff it's going to be even better but my normal attachments i'd run on it is quick draw rapid fire and fast max purely because i like to have that fast reload because when i'm in the enemy spawn i don't want to be waiting around a few seconds that few extra seconds cost me a few kills that's how i look at it now with fast hands uh, with fast mags i'd say and this is more of a more of an objective sort of class because i've got flat jacket on there as well just in case there's loads of nades still got my overclock fast stands and tap mask so I'm kind of you know countering any sort of stuff that might come my way already so it's more of a um, you know an objective sort of game mode uh, class setup I'd say for more for domination and stuff like that even though I do play a lot of domination so the next setup is the Vespa the Vespa I'm gonna be honest I'm not gonna be using it anymore purely because the recoil rate is too much and I don't think it's gonna be viable for me to use the Vespa I don't really like using it anymore I'm gonna be honest because obviously it's RIP as David Van der Haar tweeted the Vespa has got a significant recoil stuff on it now so you can't really use that as much now but I'm kind of happy in a sense because the Vespa was too good and um, I used to be really annoyed by dying by the Vespa my perks really ain't changed much I've just whacked on hardwired hardwired as well I gotta say is definitely the second best or the best with our uh, overclock them two are the best two perks in the games there isn't any other perks that are better than that in my opinion because hardware has counters so many stuff look at that shot try to see for trip mine EMPs power cores so many things it counters it is the best second tier perk in my opinion as well pretty much the same loadout class setup just put on hardware and took off another attachment on my weapon the next gun is the Pharaoh the Pharaoh, whatever you call it, the Pharaoh, Pharaoh, I don't even know, but there you go. I've got quick draw, grip, and rapid fire on this one. The Pharaoh, you know, is a really, really strong gun, and it's a burst weapon, of course. I think it's a really, really good submachine gun in this game. I think that's got a recent buff as well, so you might see that a lot more, a lot more gameplays from that. Got a nuked out with this gun as well, and Skyjack, it should be bringing that fairly soon as well. Try that out. I managed to run six cents on this one. I don't even know why I'm running six cents. 
Uh, but possibly just want to try out. I don't know. Don't really run six cents anymore. We still running at the beginning of the game. But that's pretty much it for that class setup. Uh, nothing too different. Obviously, you guys can pause the video and have a look at some of the classes if you want to. Uh, the last one is the Razorback. Razorback, you know, it's not a some machine gun that I'm a big fan of because purely because I don't think it drops people as it used to. Obviously, in the beta, it was the go-to gun, the god gun in the beta, but. I don't know, I don't really feel the Razorback anymore, I don't think it's good enough to be hanging with some of the other submachine guns, I think it's possibly one of the weaker ones out of the rest of them, and uh, my class setup is a flat jacket, attack mask, fast stance and um, awareness on this one, sort of like an OBJ as well in a sense, but I've got stock on this SMG, this is the only SMG I run stock on for some reason, sometimes I occasionally put it on the CUDA and the VMP, but stock on submachine guns are really 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 good. I gotta say, you know, stock actually really works better on the subs compared to like LMGs and obviously the ARs. You don't really notice much of a difference on ARs, but you know, on submachine guns, it's a big difference. Hopefully, you guys will try that out and let me know what you think. Razorback's not my favorite gun. Let me know if you guys like that. I'm not too much of a big fan of it, but that's pretty much it. But I just want to quickly run you down on some classes that I might want to change, like the CUDA. I possibly rock a silencer on it and something like that. Uh, in the game because silence on the CUDA is pretty good. VMP you can run a silencer. Weevil I don't really run a silencer nor do I run a best best silence. Barrel obviously I do run a silencer and Razorback you can as well. So obviously if you want to stay a bit stealthy then run a silencer on some of these you can swap out you know the, the grip or attachment or fast tank or fast mag or whatever you want to call it. And that's pretty much it for the class setup itself. Obviously if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave your like rating, comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new and let me know some of your class setups in the comment section below what you think works for you and I'll possibly give it a try and try and get some nuclears with it. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed anyway nevertheless. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new and it's your boy Physical Online and I'm out. Peace. Oh boy!